what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel as you guys previously already saw that minimum 12.5 is released i made a video of the first look of minimum 12.5 installed on my redmi note 8 and i just ported this build for this device so it just fixed some little bit of things not major things fixed one this one is a china beta based zoom so there's a lot of chinese text here and there i'm just gonna share a quick overview of this build also i've installed a pubg here so I'm gonna share with you if gaming is good or bad and a lot more things like the battery backup and stability a lot more things stay tuned make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Yes, first of all this one is a ported ROM this is not official ROM if you don't know official ROM is not released for the Redmi Note 8 users this one is being 12.5 20.12.25 China beta version which is ported from a Redmi Note 7 if you're a Redmi Note 7 user this build is already available for you we have the very interesting latest 1st of January 2021 security patch which seems to be really nice and it's based on Android version 10 Android version 11 is coming for Redmi Note 8 users but this one is based on Android version 10 so of course the android 10 things are available but one thing let me tell you that this room does not contains that navigation bar pill the full screen android 10 gestures and a lot because this one is a ported room redmi note 8s officially these kind of gestures are already removed and this is ported as a base vendor of a miui 12 razor stable if you ever use a miui 12 razor stable that does not include that pill and also that is based on xiaomi eu so almost everything is based on xiaomi eu officially it's not available for redmi note 8 users so that's why there is no navigation bar pill here no full screen gestures no android 10 animations nothing else so don't expect anything like that but yes we have another thing I have a model for that to apply the full screen gestures which you can apply directly on the home screen by going to system navigation. You will see the option there of the hiding the navigation bar pill. That is kind of a magic model which you can install. I have not tried that one but that should work definitely but that will break some things. We are going to talk about that later on I try to fix those things. But first of all let's take a quick look about these kind of things. Talking about the power menu, this new same power menu, this is not a new power menu which was available in some beta rooms. Also talking about the volume panel, this is kind of same here, there is no and nothing new here. We can wait for the Xiaomi EU build and then we can wait for the things which you get here. Swiping right, we have this app vault option available which is of course as expectedly is in Chinese but something same and interesting but if you compare it with the stable one this is change which you already get in some beta rooms and things which you get here this camera app is available here which you can use but camera app does not include anything first of all this is a ported room so yes it has some bugs but let me show you the feature of Mio 12.5 this is the Mio 12.5 feature here we have this kind of option which was not available in the previous builds but now it's available here and that looks really interesting remember location for photos and videos approximate location you can turn or you can check out from here approximate location that looks really interesting you can simply turn on or off from here deny once or allow only while using the app almost everything seems to be same here the one thing is not working which is called a portrait and other thing which is not working is the video mode video mode is actually working is recording videos but it's recording in green screen so that's why it's not working photo mode etc seems to be working here because of we have just enabled the portrait mode that's why it's not working but yes we have the gcam option available i've not installed that gcam but gcam is working perfectly fine i didn't got any major issues in gcam let me show you the magisk manager thing which i have installed on my device in my case i am using the magic version v20.3 here let me show you just wait for a couple of minutes here is here we have magic 20.3 so it is working fine here but talking about the safety net status it's not working either wait let me show you this one is here with the safety net status which is not passed by default but yes we have the option of choosing the hide magic and other things which i have a video on that one too you can check out that one to pass the safety net if it is working for you then it's great Okay, so talking about the PUBG graphics, we have uh, this option available. You can simply open the PUBG by going to settings and graphics. By default, you'll see smooth and medium. You can easily play at high graphics, also smooth and high, by the way, but you can't play in HD or HDR, Ultra HD, or these kind of things are not supported. But you can simply play in by default settings are smooth and medium in the Redmi Note 8 users. But let me tell you one more thing I will not recommend you to use this room as a gaming room because the gaming is 
not good we have a lot of lags and frame drops in gaming i've tried this and that's why i was saying that gaming is not good i've tried a lot of lags were there a lot of frame drops were there so this is just a normal initial build to just take a feel of me 12.5 in your redmi note 8 because redmi note 8 didn't got the me 12.5 officially so that's why i just put it you can go and check it out and give it a try and it's not recommended for you to use as a daily driver but still if you want to try it out the link for this build is in the description let me tell you one more thing by going into my home screen first of all and you can see this this ram management is not looking good also let me show you by going here you can see no gestures available and the ram management is also not good here this is not good for your daily driver i am using it so i will not recommend you to use this as a daily driver if we talk about the features which you get here I'm not gonna share with you the features because it's same. I have a video previously. If you haven't checked it out, you can go and check it out. The link for that video is in the description, which has the first look. Everything seems to be same here. Notification and control center, all those things I previously shown you in my previous video. Just go and check it out. Other things are same here. This is a ported build. The link for this build is in the description. This was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.